opportunities to respond orally and or in writing to the text. This can be in the form of discussion and a guided reading lesson. And we're not just talking writing activities for the sake of keeping them busy. We're talking meaningful text-related writing activities so they can engage with the author and talk about the author's intention and discuss parts of the, of the text to improve their fluency and understanding. Opportunities for ongoing assessment. It's important that both teacher and pupil know where they're at, where they're going with their, their reading and, and how well they're moving along that path to achieving their aims. So the assessment needs to be documented and it needs to be regular. Opportunities to develop an awareness of fluency and an ability to monitor it, metafluency. Our good readers are metafluent. They don't accept reading which is not fluent. They know when their reading fluency is breaking down and they do something about it. Our poor readers often don't recognise when, when fluency breaks down and they certainly don't know what to do about it. So it's important for, for our, all pupils to develop metafluency. So three programs that um, are research-based and are proven to foster fluency in reading. It's Rainbow Reading, which is a targeted, individualised intervention for struggling readers and pupils learning English. And there's Toxic, which is more for the reluctant reader. And Speak Out Play Readings, which is literacy for all pupils in small mixed ability groups. All programs feature high interest fiction and informational texts, heated readings, audio assistance, which provides the support, modelling and demonstration, practical guidance for teachers and teacher assistants. They all feature support for struggling and for EAL's pupils, and they have homeschool links. All programs are research proven to significantly improve reading fluency, comprehension, oral language, oral and reading vocabulary, writing skills, listening skills, and the all crucial positive attitude to reading. Let's talk about Rainbow Reading for starters. Rainbow Reading, a targeted, individualized intervention for small groups of pupils who have reading difficulties, they're behind in their reading, and we need to accelerate their progress. Rainbow Reading was developed when I was a practicing teacher peripatetic moving around the schools, helping pupils who were struggling with, with their reading. I quickly became um, very concerned at the vast numbers of pupils out there who could do with a, a program that could be used in the, in the school. I set up Rainbow Reading and taught pupils myself to fine tune a teacher's manual, which I wrote, and I'm sure you'll find the teacher's manual addresses all the needs of teachers. Um, explaining how to use the program to best advantage and there are graphs and photocopyable awards and pupils handbooks etc that can be used from the manual. When we did the first lot of research on rainbow reading and we on trial it in schools we came up with fantastic results for the progress the children were making. We talked about this for anyone who wanted to listen and quite frankly, they didn't believe it. So Auckland University, they volunteered to do an independent piece of research on rainbow re reading. Professor Warwick Alley from Auckland University um, asked for the material to be sent up to Auckland. They selected the hardest to teach pupils to be engaged in the program. These were students that had up to a five year reading delay uh, as one group. Um, some of those children were 12 to 13 and had been struggling and failing with reading right through from the time they started school. And the other group were um, recent immigrants to New Zealand, some of which had literally just started to learn to speak English. The results of the research was that after 18 weeks of having rainbow reading on average three times a week, the results were quite outstanding. Average to pupils progressed two and a half years and 18 weeks in reading level. They also improved in word recognition uh, significantly. The, the students, as English language learners, learnt significantly better than the children um, with struggling readers as they did with spelling. And oral language improved by one and a half years and 18 weeks. 
for both groups. These results are considered to be the most outstanding results in reading of any published study um, and are equal to the level demonstrated in reading recovery. One of the things about the progress with um, rainbow reading is that the strategies teach them to use the material in the environment. Because the children are reading a variety of texts, the children are reading different from different authors, that means they can read the material in the environment. With our research, we found that surprisingly over the, the summer break, the students progressed and reading continued, even though they weren't having individual instruction. The reason for this was that the natural reading material they were using, they could read material in the environment. So while they weren't being specifically instructed in that during that time, they were reading the material in the environment. And so after the holiday break, instead of getting a slippage or drop off in their level, there had been some improvement not the same level as when they're having instruction, but they still improved during the holiday break. What I'm gonna to talk to you now is the reasons why it's important to work and use the very best program you can possibly get when you're trying to improve children's reading. If you look at the graph, you'll see that the average progress between the reading age and the child's chronological age runs very steeply. And unfortunately for struggling readers, while well they're struggling, the average and good readers are still progressing at a very fast rate. A struggling reader will start off with the same potential as any other reader and that they will slowly get behind and they'll get further and further behind as they get older. And if they're left without any effective means to become independent readers, they could drop off to not being able to read at all. I'm sure you have seen adults in the community who go into the bank or into a place where they need to fill in forms and pull out a pair of broken glasses and say, sorry, I can't fill out the form, could you do it for me? These are people that have found ways to hide their, their lack of ability to read and write. If you have a very good program, you'll be able to change the slope of progress um, for struggling readers, but in many ways, unless it is a really dramatic change in progress, uh, you will have the same effect. You'll improve their reading um, significantly, um, but if that's not rapid enough and they don't catch up to their age peers, that reading ability will drop off. What we just, any of those programs that had good progress, we didn't include in Rainbow Reading, we only included those strategies that brought the most rapid improvement in the slope of progress. And as you can see from the chart, it's only when you have progress like we demonstrated in the research that you can catch the students up to their peers as quick as possible. If you leave that program until later, even with the very best program in the world, this will still take a long time. For example, on the graph that you will see if you leave it to nine years of age, even with the very best program in the world, you will still take three years for that student to catch up. If you start at six years of age, the same rate of progress the students would have caught up after one year. I'm an administrator in New Zealand in education and we're very concerned about the cost. And so if you think of the logic of this, if you intervene early, it costs you significantly less money to catch up, get the children to catch up, as if we nearly leave it later. If you delay the intervention, there is a huge social and psychological cost to the student. They go through the class not being able to read the material that the other children in the class can read. They are often withdrawn and they don't enjoy the class programme. 